Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be talking to you about Love Every Books. Um, as you all know, if you've watched some videos from my channel before, I'm a huge, huge fan of Love Every. I've been using their boxes now for a couple of years. So along the way I've actually gathered up quite a few books, as in each play kit there is also a book included. Um, however, they have also just released their book bundles in the UK and Europe and this is so exciting because it gives access to even more incredible books. So in this video I'm just going to like casually talk you through my thoughts on these books, our favourites um, and yeah just sort of what they are and why I like them. So this bundle here are the books that have come with our kit so far and this bundle over here are the add-ons or the book bundles which you can purchase as a add-on onto your play kit. So for each play kit that you receive, a book comes in it, and they're developmentally correct for that age group, um, and they are fantastic because they are Montessori inspired. So each of these books, you'll notice a similar thread running through them, which is they all contain real life photographs of children experiencing different things, different activities, different emotions, and children really, really love this. Um, for us, we might look at these and think, okay, these are so simple. Um, surely um, a book with loads of little details and things like that will be more intriguing. Well, as someone who's a complete book fanatic, I've got so many different types of books. I think actually these Montessori books are so important for teaching children about regulating emotions and experiencing real life things. So I have plenty of beautifully illustrated books in our house and I would say those are equally important. They are teaching children um, depth of story, beauty, um, there's so much visual interest for them to grasp and explore. So those books are also equally important. So the very first book that we got was Bedtime for Zoe. And this book is all about this little girl called Zoe who's getting ready for bedtime um, and in it there are plenty of interesting pictures for children to look at, but the most exciting one for my children was this one, where she gets soap in her eyes and um, her mummy's washing her hair and they fix it. So this has become such an integral part of my children's lives to the point that when we wash, when I wash their hair at bath time, I ask them, do you want to wash your hair like Zoe, which is like tipping your head back, or do you want to lay back in the bath? And they always say, like Zoe. <laughs> so they love this book. Um, it was really interesting because this was the first sort of Montessori style book actually that I ever had. I usually go for more Waldorf style books, especially in those sort of early years. Um, but when we got this one, I realised that there was so much uh, value in these real life experiences being shown to children in a way that they could understand. And it really worked for both my children so much. So this really sold me to the whole concept of these real life stories and the Montessori um, concept behind them. Of course, the Love Every quality is beautiful. We've read this tons of times. It's still amazing condition. These are the sort of board books. So they're quite a nice little size, quite chunky, but easy for children to read themselves. Um, lovely shiny pages. Um, so yeah, quality wise, they're great. Um, a couple of the other ones that came with our boxes um, is this colorful one, which shows you all the different colors. Again, we've loved that. There's a little opposite one, which is probably my least favorite just because, I don't know, it, it, there wasn't as much value in this one, but it's still very sweet and I love this page in particular. Max and Nana Go to the Park is again one of our favorites. This is about the little boy who goes to the park with his grandmother and he falls over and gets um, a cut on his leg and ends up getting a plaster and feels better at the end. Again, this really captivated my children's attention when they read it. They just loved the picture of him crying um, and they could really identify with Max. So again, these ones that have more of a story to them are, I feel, a little bit more valuable than um, the ones that are talking about concepts like opposites and colourful foods. Although these are also useful, it's just I had so many books on those ideas already, but I didn't quite have these um, real life scenarios um, as a story form. There's the play date, which was our next one that we got. And this is about two little friends who are learning to share and all the emotions that go um, amongst that, a little tantrum and things like that. Again, very, very interesting for my children. Then we got Making Muffins, which is again one of our favorites. 
This one is about a little boy and his daddy who are making um, muffins. Um, so there's counting in this, which is great. And there's also um, an egg that cracks, which my kids love as well. So um, a beautiful little book. And then after that set of board books, the books changed a little bit and they actually became these more sort of, I guess like early readers. So the pages are still hard, but thinner. And there's more text in these, so they're longer stories. And um, this one's about a little girl who has a deformity on her leg and she has to wear um, a prosthetic leg. And she meets a friend and they talk about that together and they also share some fun activities at the park. So this is a lovely one to talk about disabilities and how people are different, which again is why I love Love Every. They do really explore disabilities and differences, diversity in their books and that makes me really, really appreciate them. This little trio of books are absolutely wonderful. This came with, I can't remember the name of the kit, but it was the kit with the um, emotion dolls. And these ones cover angry and sad, happy and worried, and frustrated and calm. And these books and the worry dolls have been so useful for my littlest son exploring his feelings. And he is so good at talking about whether he's worried or nervous. And he, he does talk about his emotions in quite a grown up way, which is fantastic. And I do think um, these kind of books that talk about emotions um, in a very open and, and non-worrying way um, is great for children because they can feel that they can explore those like, oh, I'm feeling frustrated or I'm worried or I'm angry or I'm happy. And you can talk about those and they can understand how to process them or not be frightened of those emotions. One of my all-time favourite Love Every books that came with the kits is Uncle Rob's Pizza Party. So this is actually about the founder's brother, Rob, who has a syndrome that renders him quite disabled. And he lives in a home with his friends. And we're talking all about differences in this book and how little Bea, um, again, processes her emotions around this and feels safe within the scenario and really learns how to just sort of accept Rob and be part of this family and just sort of, yeah, just just have a conversation around disability that doesn't have to be um, a frightened one or one that's hushed down but open. And there are no books like this for children at all. Like the fact this is showing real people, real scenarios, um, real disabilities is just fantastic. This alone makes me so proud to work with Love Every because there are just not many other people who create things like this. It's just incredible. And the last one that we got from our kits is Quarter, Half and Whole, which is a really sweet book. It comes with these recipe cards at the back and also as part of the kit you get measuring cups. In this book, we the little boy is making a recipe and he's using these measuring cups and he's making these, I think they're granola bars which we have actually made as well um so this is lovely because not only can you follow the recipe but it's a lovely story and your child's learning how to use their measuring cups and if you don't have the measuring cups and you buy this book secondhand or whatever you can still use just normal measuring cups so um a lovely lovely book so as you can see just within the kit there are tons of great books but now love every have come out with book bundles which means you can add on to your play kits um, with the option of purchasing two extra books per kit. So I've got a few of them to show you here just to give you a quick idea of some of the ones we like. Um, but overall, of course, I think they're great. So one of the ones which I thought was so sweet and perfect for, um, you know, like a one-year-old or under a one-year-old is Leo and Melody at the Farm. This is a lovely little book about two children going to a farm and exploring it. What's nice with this is it's actually a touch and feel book. So there's some lovely textures, there's a scratch and sniff page, um, and there's just loads of fun things that happen on the farm. There's animal noises. Um, so really interactive and a book that would probably be quite a good one to get for, you know, maybe like a nine month old onwards. Um, I can't remember which kit this comes with, but I will link the link that shows you all the book bundles. It also comes with things I can do. Um, and this book is all about the different activities or movements that children can do, like kiss, dance, clap, jump, brush teeth, tidy up. And this could be quite a fun thing to do um, with your child. You could get them to stick out their tongue 
and you can get them to blow bubbles or pretend to blow bubbles, to count, to hide, to build a tower. Um, so this is quite a nice drama book that you could do with your child as well. Then there was this bundle which comes with ready to go wee and ready to go poo. So this is great when you are at that potty training age. And again, this is unusual because it's got real life situations of a child actually using the potty, talking about some of the emotions, things they might feel, how they know they need to go for a wee, um, and basically all that, <laughs> all that good stuff about going to the potty and mastering it, washing my hands. So um, that's how it's ready to go We and there's ready to go poo, which is the same idea. So of course, like I said before, the Love Every books are great because they have this Montessori style um, of story where they're showing these real emotions, possibly a real poo. I don't think that's actually a real poo again, don't worry. Um, and um, yeah, it's, uh, it's great. I mean, they are so wonderful to have these kind of books in your arsenal when you're doing potty training. So I particularly like those. I thought those would be a great add-on. Um, and the same with Leo and Melody at the farm. And um, that was one that I thought would be a great add-on for those um, earlier kids. Next up is another great one. It's Olivia Goes to the Dentist. Again, as I said earlier, I particularly like the books that go through real life scenarios. Um, and this is another great one for children who are going to the dentist. Um, so it gives you some of the things that they might see and hear and taste. Um, and it also comes with more opposites in that particular bundle, which is similar to the other book, but it's different concepts like in and out, on and off, dry and wet, full and empty, and so on. Then we move into slightly older book bundles. We have got, um, the first one here is The Sleepover and You Can Do It, Elise, and You Can Do It, Sullivan. So The Sleepover is all about this little girl's first experience staying over at her grandparents' house. Um, really lovely story, again, going through all the different emotions and things that might happen. Um, during that sleepover experience. Again, this is usually quite a big deal for a child. So when they have had that sleepover or when they're about to go have that sleepover at their grandparents or carers, um, it's nice for you to be able to prepare them by reading a story like this. Next up is one of my favorite books. It's You Can Do It, Elise and You Can Do It, Sullivan. This is the story of two little children, completely divided stories. They've got their own complete stories that they meet in the center. Um, so you can read one story one night, one story the other night, or both at the same time. Um, and basically it's about two different children and how they master this big climbing frame. One of them is nervous, one of them isn't, but they both overcome different difficulties during their climbing. Now this I find really useful because my four-year-old is at a stage where he is really starting to use playgrounds more and climb up things, do the big slide, but sometimes he does get really nervous or he finds he gets shy of the other children or he just, you know, he's overcoming his own um, emotions during these experiences. And a book like this is really interesting for him because he can explore some of those things he's feeling through these different children. So I really like this. And I also love the fact it's double-sided like this. I think that's so cool. Brilliant book with such a great concept is You Decide. So this is slightly similar in the sense it also starts off with a climbing frame that looks quite similar to the one in You Can Do It. But this little girl is gets to make decisions. So she doesn't want to go home and you can choose what will Hannah do? Will she find her jacket and go to the car or ignore mum and keep playing? And you can then change to the next part of the story and it gives you other options as you go. So for a three-year-old or four-year-old, this is gonna be so exciting for them. So realize that different choices means different endings. Um, and I think this is such an interesting thing for them. And it gives them some control, which is also important for them to have their own um, own ability to choose a story. I think that's really good for a little child. Um, so I absolutely love this one. And as part of that bundle with You Decide, you also get Measurement Day. And Measurement Day is all about two siblings who are using their lovely measuring tape, which comes in the kit that you would also um, be getting at the same time. And this is all about these two siblings using their measuring tape to measure all different types of things 
but also get over a bit of conflict with themselves as well. So these are the two that come in that bundle and I absolutely love, love, love these. And then you can do it and the sleepover come together. And I absolutely love those as well. Obviously my children are a little bit bigger, so these ones are the best bang for my buck. But I also still really like these ones here. The quarter, half and whole we're definitely still using a lot. Um, the, anything like the dentist one, Rob's Pizza Party, the feeling books, these are all so relevant even now with my four and six year old. Um, I also still really like Laura Makes a New Friend, making muffins because we're still doing counting. Um, and then for my son with learning difficulties, we still like these younger books as well. They still help him um, with certain things that he's dealing with. Um, so these are all amazing. Um, as you know, as I said at the beginning, I am obsessed with Love Every. Everything they've created so far has been so wonderful and I really, really hope they keep up with the quality and the in ethics behind the brand because it is so outstanding. Um, so really, really exciting. If you love books, definitely, definitely go check these out. If you're not ready to commit to a subscription, there is a channel here on YouTube um, who does read alouds from these books. I think she's called Confused Mum or Confused Mom, because she's American. Um, so go check her out and you can have a peek inside. Um, or you can also pick up some of these books on secondhand websites like Vinted or eBay. Um, but I can truly say that the kits and the book bundles are totally worth it. Um, and once you really sort of invest in those play kits, you'll find you don't really need to buy as many toys as you perhaps were doing before. Um, and these books are so clever because they're dealing with things that your children are actually dealing with. So like I said, you know, there's things like potty training, counting, baking, measuring, um, dealing with different emotions, um, just so well thought through. And then also, like I say, the diversity in these books is so spot on. The inclusivity with people with disabilities is so spot on. I mean, this is so well thought through um, and there's just not that many other books like that on the market. So well done, love every, um, totally impressed. Absolutely love the book bundles. And if you're in the market for some lovely Montessori inspired books, or perhaps you've got a child that might need some help processing emotions, check out these books because they are fantastic. I'll leave all the links below and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.